20 years ago, Closer Loop started off a brand promise of zero waste to landfill. We were supplying cartridges in a different business and I knew that all of those cartridges at the end of their life were going to landfill. And that was a real challenge for me because those polymers and metals can be used over and over again. We've been using virgin polymers in roads for 35 plus years. So why wouldn't you use recycled polymers to do the same or similar job? Close the Loop is a product stewardship company. We've developed a product called Tonaplast, using the toner from waste cartridges, mixed soft plastics, and we homogenise those into an additive that improves the performance of asphalt. When asphalt manufacturers use it, it doesn't change any of their processes. It lays the same as a normal asphalt road. It looks the same as a normal asphalt road. Some really good outcomes in terms of the asphalt quality. Tonoplast improves the performance of an asphalt road in a number of ways. Primarily, deformation resistance. It's a stronger road, a stiffer surface. So it's resistant to heavy loads, resistant to water, resistant to oil. And then we've got improved fatigue life, which makes the road last longer. The New South Wales EPA has put Tonoplast through its paces in a really big way. We had to go through a really rigorous process, a whole bunch of tests done all around the world. But the outcome was fantastic because it actually proved that Tonoplast is just such a great product. There's no environmental issues. It's 100% recyclable at the end of its life. In every kilometre of road, we use around about 530,000 plastic bag equivalents. Tonoplast improves the longevity of that asset. If you factor in the extra three years that you get from a road when it's been modified with Tonoplast, then the whole of life cost means it's actually cheaper than its equivalent. We've had a lot of support from councils all around Australia. We've laid uh, well in excess of 1,500 kilometres of road in every state. The opportunities for companies who can turn resources from end-of-life products into value again is huge.